This new Season 5 DLC weapon is insane in Modern Warfare 3, Multiplayer, Warzone and Zombies. So today I'll be testing this weapon and giving you all the best loadout to use on it. You're going to want to stay tuned and watch this. I'm going to be focusing on Zombies today but it is great in the other modes. When pack punched it allows you to take on enemies in Modern Warfare 3 including Zombies, Special Zombies and also Bosses in the Tier 3 Red Zone and the Dark Aether as well. Before we carry on with the video, if you're looking to permanently unlock the new Modern Warfare 3 Mastery Camos or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account then be sure to check out mitchcactus.com these guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers with tons of offerings for Modern Warfare 3 with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms so far they've almost 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot so if any of that sounds good to you guys then make sure to use code RAGER for 5% off for a limited time only check out the link in the description without further ado let's see how good this weapon actually is all right so starting out in the tier 2 zone we're using it for an HVT eliminate the bounty contract and as you can see it pretty much destroyed this boss instantly even though it's level 2 it has got a legendary ether tool that we were using but it's a level 2 pack a punch and it pretty much destroyed this mangler instantly as it is for the other zombies as well so it's really really powerful as you can see it works quite well it's nice you've got good mobility and it's enjoyable to use as well which is obviously important for the weapon as well works the same on other bosses as well mimics disciples and so on so it works fantastically in tier 2 you're not going to have a problem instantly takes out the zombies instantly kills them one shot kill especially if you're aiming for the head I do think this is a very solid assault rifle. Okay, so it's worked well in tier 2, but let's see what it's like actually bringing it into tier 3, which is always a little bit more daunting. Okay, so just starting out with some normal tier 3 zombies rushing us. There's quite a lot, obviously, as there always is, which can be quite intimidating, but actually it does hold its own quite well against the zombies. It's got a decent mag size as well. We'll talk more about that later. I'll give you guys a class at the end of the video, but I am quite impressed so far with how this performs, even in tier 3, as a new DLC weapon definitely worth putting on and as I said it is good fun as well it works incredibly well but even if you put on something like insta kill it is absolutely insane obviously insta kill I appreciate will kill zombies instantly but it's very quick to take down the zombies regardless especially if you've got that temporary ability on now even though it is an assault rifle you have got good mobility you can run around relatively easily obviously you can swap to a lighter weapon to move around a little bit faster in the tier 3 zone but it's still quite good considering it's quite good at all ranges both long and short but this class is built so that you can pick off enemies at the longer ranges as well but obviously it does work well up close and medium ranges too so taking out a wild mega abomination you can see it was relatively easy I was able to take him down quite quickly obviously easier if you're shooting his mouth when it's open but even if not you do a decent amount of damage it's not too difficult to kill him at all similarly it takes out mimics and manglers and other bosses no problem in the tier 3 zone and it takes out the sprinter zombies and the armor zombies quite quickly as well man I have to say I do like this weapon I do just love the feel of it as well it's got like a very firm feel to it when you're using it like both how it looks and fires but also how it sounds as well it's got like a really nice sort of bassy feel to it when you're shooting the rounds really satisfying i'd say to use and what about with stronger enemies like bounty contracts in the tier 3 zone such as the mega abomination those can be quite difficult to pick off but as you can see this thing is not struggling at all it's easily taking the boss down obviously especially with its mouth open but it's incredibly quick considering the amount of health that boss zombie has and it's doing well all rounds across all of the different enemy types so i'd say overall that this gun has got great damage it hasn't got the most round it's got 550 rounds in the gun which obviously is good it could be better but it's all right um you pick up lots of ammo packs anyway so it doesn't seem to matter that much when you're using the gun and it's got a 50 round drum magazine but when you pack punch the weapon that increases the size to 100 rounds per magazine so really really useful and obviously quite important in zombies especially in the higher tier zones even though i wasn't using it's obviously made even better with the mags of holding equipment so definitely try and use that if you have got it and as i touched on before i think it's quite a versatile weapon all round so definitely would recommend using this gun it's fantastic in tiers one and two like we said but it also works Works very well in tier 3 zone especially if it's paired with the deadshot daiquiri perk as what this does is when you aim down sight it moves your aim to an enemy critical location and it also increases the enemy critical damage i.e it basically makes it easier to get headshots and therefore kill the enemies more quickly so if you keep firing and then spamming the aim down sight trigger you're going to keep popping headshots for all these zombies really quickly and kill them much more quickly it's a one shot kill if you shoot them in the head more if you shoot them in the torso obviously but still very very quick 
and like we said it works well against all zombies including mimics manglers disciples and mega abominations as well all right so that was the weapon that's how it performs in zombies let's finally talk about the best class setup and the best loadout to use for this weapon so first of all for this weapon i've put on the jack bfb muzzle and what this does is it improves the gun kick control vertical recoil control and the horizontal recoil control as well so you get improved recoil all round we've also got the heinrichter c70 long barrel which improves the bullet velocity and range as well as the aiming idle sway next we've got the bruin heavy support grip for the under barrel and similarly this improves the gun kick control but it also improves the aiming idle sway and the horizontal recoil control as well as the firing aim stability for our fourth attachment we've put on the 7.92 x 33 mm incendiary ammunition which gives incendiary damage to help kill zombie enemies more quickly and finally we've gone for the 50 round drum magazine and like we said if you then pack a punch the weapon this increases it to 100 rounds per drum magazine so all in all a very good loadout a very good all-round versatile weapon would highly recommend using it's fun you're not going to go wrong with it and it's definitely worth giving it a try so make sure you guys give this a try and if you found this loadout useful then make sure to leave a like on the video to let other people find it too and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest Monitor for 3 and warzone videos i've got lots of season 5 guides coming how to level up the battle pass fast how to level up weapons so feel free to check them out but also i've got other guides for zombies like the safe zones so you can't get hit by zombies and also other zombies guides like i'll have a full top 10 best loadouts video so you guys know the best weapons to hop into the game with so make sure you check that out as well thank you for watching hope you guys found it helpful and i'll see you all on the next video